Microfreak is a great all-in-one box. Throughout the tutorial series, you've seen a bit of what it can do as a standalone unit. If you want a synth with presets, great leads, bass, keys, pad sounds, this will be perfect for you. If you are into the world of connecting to other hardware equipment, Microfreak plays along very nicely with them too. Looking at the back of Microfreak, you will see the connectivity options. You'll see the MIDI out and MIDI in, which uses the same breakout cables you'll find on the Keystep and Beatstep Pro, amongst others. By using the MIDI control center, which you can download from the Arturia website, you can make the most of the MIDI functionality, like choose between input channel 1 to 16, output channel 1 to 16, MIDI output destination, which defines how MIDI data is transmitted via USB, MIDI, or both, and off. Local control means the signals are transmitted, but they're disconnected from the microfreak itself. Sequencer ARP MIDI out lets the sequencer or arpeggiator send MIDI notes to other hardware or to be recorded in a DAW. MIDI through. It's a neat feature. When it's on incoming MIDI, data echoes to the MIDI out port. And so on. Take a look at the MIDI control center once you've got your Microfreak to see what it can do. Microfreak's USB port is handy. It connects to a computer if you need to and can send and receive MIDI information over USB and you'll use it to link up with the MIDI control center. Microfreak can be USB powered or via power supply. In fact, you can even power it from a standard portable phone charging battery pack too. The clock and sync notes can be set from utilities on the Microfreak itself. That's where I'd usually do it. However, you can adjust it from the MCC too. MIDI clock source can set to USB, MIDI or sync. And you can see from the screen the number of CV gate connectivity options too. Other things like keyboard sensitivity, velocity curve, aftertouch curve can all be found here too. It's very easy to connect to external gear. So if you have other hardware you'd like to connect to, the Microfreak is easy to set up. Let's quickly connect the Microfreak to the Drumroot Impact via clock. Right, that's Microfreak. We've only just scratched the surface of all the controls and functions. It's called Microfreak because it's for you to create something unique. Yes, it's got all the classic lead, bass, pad and key sounds, but when you want something that's totally different and inspiring, this little guy is going to sit nicely in your studio. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.